When it comes to genetically modified foods, do we know the potential danger to our bodies? I mean, we haven't been through, I don't think, more than one generation mm -hmm. of these. You know, I know they're being tested on lab animals and things like that, but do we know the potential two or three generations down the road? When the American Academy of Environmental Medicine evaluated the animal feeding studies on GMOs, they found that there was clear causal evidence linking the GM feed to reproductive disorders, immune system problems, accelerated aging, organ damage, gastrointestinal problems, and dysfunctional regulation of cholesterol and insulin. They, they urged all doctors to prescribe non-GMO diets to all patients. Now we have thousands of doctors doing just that. And they're reporting that their patients are getting better along these same categories of diseases. So when I speak, as I did today and several times this past week, I ask them how many of you are endeavoring to move GMOs from your diet, and many hands go up. And I say, okay, how many of you are noticing improvements in your health as a result? And nearly every hand goes up again. And they'd report immune system problems like asthma, allergies, and autoimmune disease get better or go away, digestive problems, the same thing, reproductive problems, headaches, lethargy, mental, clear, mental problems, it's across the board. And it's every single time I speak, the same categories come up. Now, when individuals get rid of GMOs, they have to buy organic or they have to switch out to non-processed foods because it's not labeled. But the animals, when the livestock is taken, are taken off of GM soy or corn and given non-GM soy or corn instead, there's no cofactors. It's just that one change. And they're getting better along the same lines. So as humans report an elimination of irritable bowel, the pigs no longer have diarrhea. The humans get rid of the ulcers, so do the pigs. The um, human's immune system strengthens, the use of antibiotic disease, uh, medicines goes down in the animals. It's a dramatic, and sometimes within two or three days, a dramatic result with these animals that switch out GMOs from their diet. And I hear this from both the farmers and the veterinarians and even pet owners. Now, if you look at the same disorders and diseases then, that are described as afflicting the lab animals fed GMOs, that are getting better in humans and livestock when they get rid of GMOs, and the same problems that are on the rise in the U.S. population since GMOs were introduced.